Okay, getting my screen set up. Hello, everyone. It's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class here. Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so that way I know everything is A-OK. -okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so that way I know everything is A-OK. -okay. Lolly, Lolly, thank you so much. I see a yes from Lolly. Thank you. Uh, Saima says yes. Katie says yes. Tetsuro says yes. All right. It looks like you can see me and hear me, and that means everything is A-OK. -okay. So we can go ahead and start. So that's good news. Okay, Rajay, hello. Good, good, good. Ava, thank you. There is Air Lady is in the house. Great, great. Samuel, thank you so much. Nice, nice. Andrea, hello. Good, good, good. Happy is in the house. Okay, great. Rita's here. Hello, Rita. Mwah. Big kisses to you. Okay, Dolce is here and says yes. Amna says yes. All right. Well, um, I'm happy to see you all. I hope you are feeling well. I'm feeling well. I hope you are ready to practice with me and, of course, in the chat. And one thing I have to say about the chat, only subscribers can enter the chat. I do that to keep the bots out and to keep the spamming out because we want a clean, safe place for us to practice our English. Yeah, so um, if you want to chat with us, please subscribe to my channel. I do that to keep the bots out and to keep the spamming out so we have a fun, interesting, and safe place to practice our English. Yes. Okay, Jocko's here. Hello, Jocko. Kori, hello. Uh, Latifa is here. Nice. Williams is here. Okay, we have a great group today. Bro Kong, good morning. Okay, great, great, great. Well, um, let's, well, before we do anything, we always have our toast for good luck. So let's have our toast for good luck. We will have two toasts. Our first toast will be to the green team. Yes, you see them. Their names are in green. They support me. They support the channel by supporting me and the channel. They are supporting everyone. So we, we have to give them a big thank you. And our second toast will be for you. Yes, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's go ahead and do our toast. So whatever you're drinking, please pick it up. If you are having a water, pick it up. If you're having a coffee, pick it up. If you're having juice, pick it up. If you're having milk, pick it up. Whatever you're drinking, pick it up for our toast. And our first toast will be for the green team, yes. Let's give them a big, big thank you. Cheers, green team. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers, yes. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink, so bottoms up. Mm. Our second toast will be for you, yes. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here, so let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mmm. Very good. <laughs> All right. Well, um, let's talk about today's lesson plan. Yes, it's right here. Here is today's lesson plan. We have five activities. Yes, of course, we have five activities. And we will be here for two hours. I know it sounds like a long time, but it goes by very quickly. Yes, it does. So um, here are the five activities. We're going to review form a sentence. So we did this on Tuesday and today we are going to review it. So our first activity will be form a sentence. I'm going to write a sentence. Well, I'm going to write a pattern on the board and you're going to write sentences in the chat. All right. Our second activity will be which one is different and the topic is a candy shop. Mmm, candy. We, we all like candy, don't we? So we're going to talk about candy and then we're going to do a conversation from my book, 
50 very short conversations, yes. Then we're gonna do a worksheet and we're gonna practice an idiom. The idiom is fall down. And these sentences, the examples are, were done by the green team, yeah. So the members, the green team, they wrote example sentences and then you're gonna do your own sentences. Then our fifth activity will be 10 very short conversations. We will watch a video. We will then practice those conversations in the video. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. We're gonna to be busy, busy, busy. Um, and so anyways, let's get right into it. And one more time about the chat. Only subscribers can enter the chat. I do that to keep the bots out, to keep the spamming out. If you want to chat with us, please subscribe to my channel. I do that so we have a clean, safe place to practice our English. Okay, so let's get right into it, shall we? Yes, okay. Now, form a sentence, that's our first activity. I gotta keep everything in order, right? Keep it in order, so I'm gonna write number one because it's our first activity. This is form a sentence, so I'm gonna go ahead and write form a sentence. Okay, now about the pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and write the pattern. And here is the pattern. We have look and then someone is. So here, so someone plus is plus so in addition, so we're adding on to the pattern. Someone is, and then verb, we're gonna use the ing verb, the progressive verb. Someone is ing, and then plus more information. Okay, so here is my example. All right, so let's just put a bracket over. Okay, so look, someone is verb, ing, more information. So for example, here is mine. Look, someone is stealing. Okay, steal is the verb and we're gonna add ing. Someone is stealing, and then we need more information, right? Like, what are they stealing? So let's, let's add more information. Look, someone is stealing a bicycle. Okay, so a bicycle, that's more information. What are they stealing? They are stealing a bicycle. Okay, good. Now you know it's time for your sentence, yeah. And I see Rita. Rita is right into it. Rita got right into it. And Rita says, someone is walking to the park. Nice. Lolly says, look, someone is spying on us. Okay, so um, Lolly, you wanna say on us. So someone is spying on us. Okay, Erna, look, she is dancing like a pro dancer. Okay, good. So like a pro dancer. So the ah, uh, you wanna change, you wanna put the ah uh, in, in front of the pro. So it should be look, exclamation point. Look, someone is dancing like a pro. I like it. Williams, someone is going to the party. Look, someone is going to the party. So let's, let's use look, okay, let's, Stick with our pattern here, look. Don't forget that, like, hey, look. So we're a little surprised, right? Look. Let's see, Ava says, look, someone is dancing in the street. Okay, <laughs> yeah, they're very happy, maybe. Okay, hey, Lama, good morning, Lama. We are good, neighbors are good, the town is good, the city is good, the country is good. <laughs> Umesh, look, someone is stealing the horse. Oh my, that's not good. Okay, Tetsuro, look, someone is crying in the park. Oh, what happened? Good, Lolly. 
someone is spying on us. That's perfect, Lolly. Katie, look, someone is shouting your name. Where? Where? Who's shouting my name? So I have a common name, Mark. So there are many Marks. And then once in a while, not here in Japan, of course, right? So I live in Japan. So when I hear Mark, someone's calling me, of course, right? But in, in the States, in, in California, uh, a lot of times I hear Mark and I look around and it's not for me. It's for some, it's another Mark. So that happens. But not here in Japan. Okay. Kadeen, look. Oh, okay. I read that. Ava says, look, someone is driving too fast. So good, Ava. You want the two for um, OO. So it should be T-O-O. -O, and that means very, right? So you can say, look, someone is driving too fast. Or you can say, look, someone is driving very fast. So the T-O-O -O equals very. Andre says, look, someone is eating a big hamburger. I want to be that person. <laughs> I want to be that someone. I want to eat a big hamburger. I like, on my hamburgers, I like cheese, onion, tomatoes, lettuce, and mustard. That's a perfect, that's a perfect hamburger. Just cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, mustard, and of course, a good beef patty, yes. And hopefully the patty is cooked over an open flame, you know? And so that way the, the, the kind of the fat drips off and you have a, a, a lean, juicy, tasty burger. Mm. Lolly says, look, someone is singing in the rain. Oh, they must be very, very happy. Oh, baby, hello. All right, great, great. Join us, baby. Please write this pattern. Make a sentence on your own. Make a sentence on your own. You can see lots of examples. Lots of people are writing sentences. So um, please join us and practice with us together. Okay, Williams. Look, someone is wearing a clown outfit. Wow, where are they going? Are they going to the circus? Are they going to a party? Are they going to a costume party? Are they going to a children's birthday party? Where are they going? Why are they wearing a clown outfit? <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, Ultraman. <laughs> Someone likes Ultraman. There's a, new There's a new Ultraman movie coming here in Japan soon. Okay, let's see. Umesh says, Look, someone is switching on the fan. Yeah, it's hot, so switch on the fan, please. Tetsuro, look, someone is robbing your luggage. Oh, boy. Or, Tetsuro, it's better to say, um, look, someone is taking your bags or someone is taking your luggage. That's better to say. Hey, is that Tina? Did I see Tina? Tina's here. All right, Tina, how are you today? Tina says, look, someone is stealing your your cats and dogs. Wow. <laughs> Don't do that. I love my cats and dogs. Don't steal my cats and dogs. Lolly says, look, someone is starting staring at you angrily. Uh oh, what do they want? Why are they staring angrily? What's, what happened? What's the matter? Raphael, look, someone I know. Oh, the, I'm missing this. Okay. Yeah, okay, Ava fixed her sentence. Great, Raphael. Look, someone I know is avoiding to wash the armpit. Okay, Raphael. Look, someone stinks a lot. <laughs> look, someone is stinking up the train. Kadeen says, look, someone is jumping off the bridge. Uh-oh, don't say that. Tina says, look, someone is riding on the dragon and flying on it. It must be the never-ending story. Tina, do you know that movie? Never ending story. It's pretty old. It's an old movie, but it's a good one. It's an old one. It's an oldie but goodie, Tina. It's called um, The Never Ending Story. The Never Ending Story. I recommend it. Oh, Rita says, Someone is having breakfast. 
Samuel, someone is driving too fast. Ava, look, someone is sitting on the ground. <laughs> Tetsuro, look, someone is waiting in front of a post office. Umesh, look, someone is writing on the wall. That's not good. Jocko, look, someone is falling down. Oh, okay. Okay, Jocko, we, we want to put that in the past tense. Okay, Jocko, look, someone fell down the hole. Okay, so you just... This is a good sentence to say, oh, okay, it's not, oh, oh, we need the ing. Okay, look, someone is falling down the hole. Okay, sorry, sorry, Jocko. So it's happening now. So, it, right, and so it would have to be slow, right? Oh, look, someone is falling down the hole. So they're like kind of just going down slowly. <laughs> Uh, Lolly, look, someone is playing video games over there. Tina, I want to ride and fly a dragon too. Yeah, that would be fun. A little scary. <laughs> Pan, Pan Pan, look, someone is looking at me. Okay, so Pan, at AT, not for me, at me. Look, someone is looking at me. Sims, look, someone. Someone is eating some fruit in the living room. Tetsuro, look, someone is taking your luggage. Nice, nice, Tetsuro. Umesh, look, someone is walking nude. <laughs> Cover your eyes. Don't look. Someone is walking nude. Don't look. <laughs> it depends <laughs> what the person looks like, right? <laughs> okay. All right, long time no see. Yeah, Pan Pan, long time no see. Long time no see. Where have you been? Why has it been a long time? Please tell me, where have you been? Have you been busy? Okay, Raje. Look, someone is sleeping in my garden. Wow, that's not good. <laughs> Get out of my garden. My garden is for flowers and vegetables, not for people, right? My garden is for flowers and vegetables, not for people. Get out of my garden. Lolly, look, someone is interesting in your... Oh, oh, someone is... Okay, not interesting, right? That doesn't work here. So um, we want... To say interesting, that's an adverb, not a verb. Or I mean, that's an adjective. Sorry, it's it's an adjective. She, um, she is interesting. That's an interesting picture. Okay, so maybe Lolly looking. Someone is looking at your cat. Be careful, right? So, someone is looking at your cat. Someone is drinking your coffee. Don't drink my coffee. Please, this is my coffee. If you drink my coffee, I won't have any to drink for myself. So please, don't drink my coffee. Ava, or no, Saima, look, someone is shouting on the road. Uh-oh, Umesh says, look, someone is stealing the money. Let's see, Umesh, look, someone is dancing on the floor. Rita says, someone is looking for peaceful people. Tina, look, someone is running into a shark and got eaten. Or actually, okay, swimming. Someone is swimming. So Tina, we want the verb ing. So your, your sentence would be, look, someone is swimming, and then more information, into a shark. So, look, look, someone is swimming into a shark. That is not good because the shark will just open its mouth and the swimmer just go right into the shark, and then the shark will close its mouth, and then the person will be in the shark, trapped in the shark. <laughs> Get me out of the shark, I'm in the shark. I want out of the shark. Let, let me out of this shark. <laughs> okay, good, good. Well, I'm looking at the clock. You guys had lots of great sentences. Lots of good examples for everyone to see so everyone can learn from you. Yeah, so the thing is, we should learn from each other. That's a good way to practice our English, practicing with each other, 
learning from each other. Hola, hola. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Julie, what up? Hello, hola, hola. Que pasa? <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, look, someone is listening to Mark's live stream. I'm happy. I'm happy you guys are here. I'm happy that you guys are watching my live stream. More information, watching. Look, people are watching my live stream. Yay. <laughs> okay, we got to switch, everyone, because I'm looking at the clock. We always say we're fighting time, right? So we got to go to activity number two. So let's do that. Number two is, which one is different? Which one is different? Which one is different? My ink is running out, right? Look, it's getting lighter and lighter. So I'm going to change. Uh, they're all getting, see, like here, the ink. It's hard for you to see, but. It should be black, black, but it's not. So, and, okay, and I can hear the ink. Maybe you can hear. So this one's good. So this is a little darker than this one. Can you see the difference? See? This has more ink, and this has no ink. <laughs> So I'm going to put this to the side. What's good about um, the, these markers, they're, I, can, I can just change the ink cartridge. And so instead of buying a new pen, right, because it's still good, it's just the ink is gone. So I can take off the top, the top twists off, and now you have the cartridge. And see, this cartridge is empty. And so, I, so I, what I do is just take it off, and the cartridge is very cheap, you know, so an uh, ink of cartridge may be um, a couple dollars, less than two dollars, and so um, I could just change it, right, and so, instead of just throwing out everything, and it's not good for the earth, right, it's not good for our ecology, so I can just um, replace the ink cartridge, so that's nice, right, and you could see this one, I'll open the top. It's very tight there. Okay, I got it. And so this one's still, right? We still got ink here. So let's use this one, shall we? Okay, I'm going to, I can shake it in here. Okay, there's ink in here, so it's good. Okay, so which one is different? And our topic is uh, a candy shop. Oh, see? See, look at the beautiful ink. It's black. Okay, a candy shop, yeah. Okay, that's our topic, a candy shop. So let's go ahead and do it. Which one is different? So here's a worksheet. <laughs> Thanks, Ava. Um, Uh-oh, someone is watching the TV and eating the food. Uh-oh, <laughs> that's a good sentence, I like it. Okay, so we have some vocabulary. And it's about a candy shop, yeah? And if this is the first time you're here, we're gonna, um, I'm going to show you four items. And then you're going to decide which one is different than the others. So, for example, if this is an example, red, blue, bicycle, pink, red, blue, bicycle, pink, which one is different? Yes, bicycle is different because it's transportation. The other three are colors yeah so bicycle is different so that's how we do it and we're going to talk about things in a candy shop so let me put this worksheet up on the board and actually you can get my worksheet on my youtube homepage. you go to the community tab and you will see it there on my um, youtube homepage. so you can um download it and you have your own copy and we can do it together yeah so i could do it here and you do it where you are maybe you're in your home or you're at the office wherever 
you can we can do it together wherever you are so let's go ahead and put it put it on the screen there it is all right so I'm gonna enlarge it now so everyone can see clearly so I'm gonna make a big 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 I'm gonna make it full screen here okay so we have two groups of keywords so our, let's look at the first group we're doing the first group group number one first and here we go group one keywords we have a sucker an ice cream bar a cupcake and a lollipop one more time a sucker an ice cream bar a cupcake a lollipop which one is different and why so in the chat please tell me which one is different oh yes Harry we want the whiteboard marker not the permanent ink no 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 that would not be good for my whiteboard would it Harry okay Lolly says a cupcake because you can eat it but you don't but you don't suck it good good or lick it or lick it yeah use your tongue to lick it so a cupcake because you can eat it but you don't have to lick it or you don't have to um, suck it okay Kadeen I think a cupcake because there's no stick in it good Ava an ice cream bar because it's cold and frozen learner look someone is fighting oh, oh that's not good Lolly says a lollipop because it it reminds me of my name it reminds me of my name yes <laughs> lolly 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 lollipop 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 there's a song lollipop you know that song it's an old 1950s song lollipop 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 there's a song lollipop umesh a cupcake is different because it's a baked thing good umesh Ava cupcake because it is baked okay so uh, Ava it should be it is baked and frozen it there's a, a, a Z not an S so Ava it's um, F R O Z E N frozen it's a Z, Z sound Raphael sucker I thought it was called a lollipop okay well there's a difference there's a little bit of a difference between a sucker and a lollipop there is a difference okay so we got questions what's the difference okay here we go <laughs> a lollipop is it doesn't go in your mouth okay so a sucker is smaller and, and okay so this is what okay this is what I'm gonna a sucker goes in your mouth so the sucker is in your mouth the lollipop can't go in your it's too big you know it's it's kind of flat and you have to lick it okay you have to lick it where the sucker goes in your mouth so you hold it like maybe do you remember Kojak there's a TV show called Kojak and his name Telly Savalas and he's bald like me and he always had a sucker in his mouth and so um, it goes in your mouth and so just the stick is coming out only the stick is coming out where the lollipop you use your tongue and you lick it and it's it's larger and it doesn't it can't fit in your mouth so that's the difference a sucker and a lollipop that is the difference okay here we go Marcos hello Umesh an ice cream bar because it's rectangular in shape good 
la, uh, uh, jaco, lollipop, because I cannot, it, it cannot be eaten at once. Okay, good. So, jaco, a lollipop, because it cannot be eaten at once. Lolly, an ice cream bar, because it must be kept in the freezer. There you go, Ava, frozen, perfect. Okay, Pan Pan, I think a cupcake because, oh, it's big and fat, okay? Big and fat. Sims, a cupcake is different because we can use it in a party and enjoy eating it. Okay, yeah, or, okay, Sims, I like it. A, cup, a cupcake is different because we, we, um, we serve those at a party. We serve those at a party. Tina, a cupcake because it tastes like cake. Good, Tina. I like it. Umesh, a cupcake because the others have a stick in them. Okay, Umesh, a cupcake because the others have a stick in them. Okay, Tetsu understands the difference between a sucker and a lollipop. Tetsuro understands the difference between a sucker and a lollipop. So I'm happy to hear that. Harry, I think a cupcake because it is the only one without a stick in, in it. Okay, not on it. Harry, it's in it, right? So the, the stick goes inside them, yeah? Williams, I think the cupcake is different because there isn't a stick attached to it. That works. Good, Williams. Samuel, an ice cream bar is different because it is frozen. Wildlife, good morning. I'm doing good. My health is excellent. Thank you for asking. You're welcome, Raphael. Learner, I think an ice cream bar because it's frozen. Suma is in the house. Hello. Good morning, Suma. Mwah. Kisses for you. Ava, a, lolly, a lollipop because it's bigger than a sucker. Exactly, Ava. Exactly. Oh, lolly. A lollipop because it is always round. Good. I like it. Oh, Kadeen. I like your answer. I like your sentence. Kadeen says, I think an ice cream bar because it melts. I like that. Oh, Umesh, I like this one too. A lollipop because it comes in attractive colors. I like it. See, the more time you guys are thinking of more creative answers, right? So we're taking our time. We're spending time on this. And I see lots of great sentences, everyone. So the more time we think about it, the more examples we see, the more ideas we can get. So everyone's doing great. I like your sentences. Air Lady says, I think an ice cream bar because it melts fast. Yes, it does. It melts too fast. <laughs> Stop. Don't freeze ice cream. Don't freeze. Or, or, no, no, no. Don't melt ice cream. No, don't melt. Oh, Rita says an ice cream bar because it freezes your tongue. Oh, my tongue is too cold. Oh, a cupcake because it is not wooden. Rita, a cupcake needs a spoon. No, no, no. Um, we don't need a spoon with a cupcake, Rita. No, so Rita, we, we don't need a spoon. We just, a cupcake, you just hold in your hand and eat it with your fingers. <laughs> a cupcake is finger food. So we eat a cupcake with our fingers. We just hold it and eat it like a candy bar or something, right? So a candy bar, hold it in your hand and just eat it. Cupcake is the same way. Okay, nicely done, everyone. Let's go to group two, shall we? Oh, Air Lady, I think a sucker because it's made with sugar and different flavor. Good, Air Lady. See, lots of Sentences, everyone. Many, many, many differences. Oh, Pan Pan, uh, he asks again, sucker, the difference between a sucker and a lollipop. A sucker goes in your mouth. A, a lollipop does not go in your mouth. You just use your tongue. 
Okay. Oh, Marcos. Lots. You guys are coming up. Many, many, many sentences. Marcos. Cupcakes are softer than the other ones. Nice. Lolly, an ice cream bar because it's it must be kept in the freezer. Tetsuro, a cupcake because it is warm. It is warmed and yummy. <laughs> All right. Nice, nice. Okay, let's go to group two, shall we? Group two, keywords. Okay, group two, here we go. Group two, a, a, a candy drop, a box of chocolate, a chocolate bar, popcorn. Which one is different? A candy drop, a box of chocolate, a chocolate bar, and popcorn. Which one is different and why? Group two. We're doing group two now. Oh, Rajay, yeah. Oh, Umesh, yes. Umesh says, a cupcake because it has a wrapper on it. Nice. Rajay, I think a cupcake because it is eaten, not licked. Good. It is eaten, not licked. I like it. Wow, wow, wow. Lots of... Great sentences, everyone. Fantastic. Okay, learner. I think a lollipop because when I was a child, I liked them. Okay, here we go. Group two, gada. Okay, popcorn because it has salt. Okay. Kadeem, I think popcorn because it, it's not packaged. It's not packaged. Great. Tina, an ice cream bar because, oh, if you eat too much, you will get brain freeze. Yes. <laughs> brain freeze. That, that is when your head hurts because you ate something too cold. Lolly, a candy drop because it's a single item. Oh, nice one, Lolly. Nice one. Ava, I eat the pop. I eat popcorn with a spoon. Or no, no, wait, wait. Cupcake. Sorry, Ava. I eat cupcakes with a spoon. Really? No, Ava. Don't eat cupcakes with a spoon. Then it's become all mushy. You eat ice cream with a spoon. Cake. You use a fork. A fork with cake. But a cupcake, you can just use your fingers. Sims. I think popcorn is different because it has natural sugar. Williams. I think popcorn is different because it isn't sweet. Umesh. Popcorn because it's enjoyed in movie theaters. In movie theaters. Tetsuro, I think popcorn because it is a little salty. Lolly, popcorn because corn is a cereal. Samuel, I think popcorn is different because it is not sweet, it is salty. Ava, popcorn because there are many small pieces, yeah, or kernels. We say kernels. Kernels of corn. So popcorn because there are many small kernels. Tina, why are we talking about candy too much? Because we like it, Tina. We like candy. And it's fun to talk about candy. <laughs> Lolly, popcorn, because often you eat it while watching a film. Gada, a box of chocolate, because I like it more than the others more than the others. A box of chocolate because I like it more than the others. Rajay, I think popcorn because it is salty and not sweet. Amna, 
Popcorn is different because it is salty. Chaco, I think popcorn because popcorn goes into the microwave. It doesn't melt and gets bigger. Oh, Chaco. Umesh, a candy drop because you can trick others by putting stone or some, or uh, wait, wait, by putting stone, a stone of the same size inside it. Don't do that, Umesh. You'll hurt someone's teeth. That's not good. Plus, stones have no taste. <laughs> Ava, a candy drop because it's hard. Good. Lolly, popcorn because you can add cheese on it. No, no, no cheese on popcorn, please. I like, I like adding pepper, like black pepper or Tabasco sauce or like a hot sauce. I like adding hot sauce to popcorn, but not cheese. No, no. Please don't add cheese to popcorn. Lolly, don't do that. <laughs> Rita, popcorn because it is a grain. Learner, I think a candy drop because it's small. Marcos, popcorn is eaten in chunks. <laughs> Lolly, popcorn because I hate popcorn. <laughs> Ava, a box of chocolate because it's a nice present. Great sentence, Umesh. Chocolate bar because it's rectangular in shape. Suma, I think popcorn because it doesn't melt. Tina, a box of chocolate because it tastes like a donut. <laughs> Katie, I think popcorn because we need to put them in a container. Rita, popcorn because you can eat a lot. <laughs> yes. Wow, nice one, Rita. Yes, we could eat a lot of popcorn. It's easy to eat a lot of popcorn. It's easy to eat a lot of popcorn. Lolly, a box of chocolate because it's a great present. Raphael, I was going to choose popcorn because it's the only salty one. But then I remembered that there are sweet flavored popcorns too. So I'll go with popcorn anyway. I'll, I'll come up with something else, LOL. <laughs> That's right, there's caramel flavor. I like caramel popcorn. Yeah, and so they're, they're, people can be creative with popcorn, yeah. So there are like popcorn stores, right? Where you go there and all they have is popcorn. Have you ever tried a popcorn ball? There's popcorn balls and then all kinds of different flavored popcorn. I've seen it. Like they're in Japan, it's called like Chicago popcorn, I think. I'm not sure, but I think it's Chicago popcorn. Okay. Ava, a chocolate bar because it's flat. Nice, Ava. Best Gamer, how you doing, buddy? Best Gamer is in the house. I think a box of chocolate because it's very big. Katie, I think popcorn because it's from, or it's uh, from corn, yeah, that's good. I was gonna say made from corn, but don't really make popcorn. Ah, you, you pop popcorn. So how about this? I think popcorn because it's popped from corn. No, it's from corn, that's good. Katie, that's a good. I think it's from corn. That's that's the best way to say it. Umesh, a box of chocolate because they come in on uh, spherical in shape. Spherical, spherical, a sphere, sphere. That's hard to say. Sphere, right? Sphere is round, like the Earth is a sphere. So, a box of spherical in shape. I don't know. Like, they don't have to be round, Umesh. The box can be a heart-shaped box. You know, Valentine's Day, a box of chocolate. The shape of the box could be a heart shape. Uh, it could be a square shape. It can be a round shape. It could be a rectangular shape. Any, any way you want it to be, it can be that way. Okay, best gamer. I think a box of chocolate because you can't eat all of it in... In 10 minutes, I can, best gamer. I, can, I could eat a box of chocolate in 10 minutes, no problem. 
No problem. <laughs> Especially C's candy. Oh, I love C's chocolates. They're, it's an American, it's a kind of like a California chocolate company, but now I think they're all over the United States. But they're the best. C's chocolate is the best. C's is the best. Does anyone, I'm going to write this in the chat. I'm going to say, do you know C's chocolate? Do you know C's chocolate? Whoops, 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 whoops. That is the best. C's is the best chocolate. It comes in a box. Box of chocolates. Okay, Tetsuo, I think popcorn because it's a little hot. Good. Rita, a candy drop because it's cheap. Yeah, Mark. Good, good, Rita. Marcos, popcorn because you can grow it at home. Okay, that's right. You could grow corn in your garden and then pop it. Tina, popcorn because it has no sugar. Okay. Oh, Umesh, popcorn because the others are brown in color. Harry, popcorn because it does not have an article, ah, uh, before the word. Very good. So the others are singular, right, Harry? A uh, candy drop, a uh, box of chocolate, a uh, chocolate bar, but popcorn is uncountable. We can count. Candy drops, one, two, three. We can count a box of chocolate, how many boxes? We can count a chocolate bar, how many bars? But we just, popcorn, we just say popcorn. Okay, good, good, good. I think, I'm looking at the clock. I think we're good. We need to change topics real quick. Let me read a couple more before we change. Rita says, a candy drop is good when you are avoiding, when you are driving, avoid to sleep. Ah, oh, good idea. Rita's saying, if you're driving and you're a little sleepy, put in a candy drop and that will help you. Yeah, because you're not going to sleep with candy in your mouth. That's good because that would be dangerous because then you could choke on it, right? So your body's not going to do that. You're going to stay awake while you are... Um, sucking on your candy drop. That's a great idea, Rita. Good advice for everyone. Lolly, popcorn because it doesn't melt in the heat. Ava, a candy drop because every, every piece is uh, wrapped with paper. Every piece is wrapped with paper. Best gamer, popcorn because you can put salt on, on it, on it. Lolly, Popcorn because it doesn't melt in the heat. Raphael, popcorn because it's the only one that goes well with liquored butter. Hmm, like uh, tequila butter. <laughs> tequila butter, rum butter. Oh, that sounds good. Rum butter sounds good. That's a good one, Raphael. I like it. I like it. Wildlife, popcorn has... A sweet taste. Marcos, popcorn because it changes its shape after buying it at the supermarket and making it. That's a good one, Marcos. That's right. So at in the supermarket, you buy just the, the kernel of corn, right? They're just like little, little round kernels of corn. Then you put the popcorn in a popcorn popper. And then it changes shape. Yeah, each shape is a little different, like a, like, a, like a snowflake, right? Like a snowflake. Nice, nice. Okay, great job, everyone. Let's switch topics, okay? I like your sentences. Huh, Ava. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Ava, I'm going to help you with your sentence. I'm going to write it in the chat, okay, Ava? So, a candy drop 
is different because each piece is wrapped individually. Okay. There you go, Ava. A candy drop is different because each piece is wrapped individually. Good one. Okay. Let's let's change topics, shall we? So um, let's say goodbye to the candy shop. <laughs> let's say goodbye to the candy shop. You can get this right here. You can get the worksheet on my YouTube homepage. Go to the community tab and you will see it there, okay? Great, great, great. Okay, Tina. Have a good day, Tina, or good evening, right? So it's nighttime for you, Tina. So um, today's Friday in Japan. So it's, it's um, for you, it might be Thursday night. Yeah, because it's Friday morning for me. So it's probably Thursday night for you, Tina. So have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. See you tomorrow, Tina. See you tomorrow. Okay, so um, let's say goodbye to the candy shop. And now let's do our third activity. Yeah, so activity number three. And number three is a conversation from my book right here. 50 very short conversations. Here's the book right here. Right there, you get it at Amazon.com. The link is in the descriptions below. Get your copies. Get your copies. <laughs> okay, here we go. Activity number three. I'm going to put it here because we're going to put the conversation here so we could practice it together. So, activity number three is conversation. Okay, conversation. I abbreviated it C O N V to make it shorter. And step one. I will read it to you. Then I will write it on the board so we can practice it together. We will practice pronunciation. We will uh, practice fluency. We will go slowly and quickly. We will talk about the meaning and we will role play. We will take turns. I will be A, you will be B, right? So we will do a lot of practice with this conversation. And the conversation is. 24. Conversation 24. Where is it? Here it is. No. 25. I'm sorry. Conversation 25. 25. So first I'm going to read it. So please listen carefully. Here we go. Listen carefully. Is this your bike? Yes, it is. It looks really nice. Thank you. How much was it? I'd rather not say. <laughs> I'd rather not say. One more time. Is this your bike? Yes, it is. It looks really nice. Thank you. How much was it? I'd rather not say. <laughs> okay, we like doing things in threes, right? We do it three times. Three is the magic number. So here we go. One more time. I will read it to you one more time. Is this your bike? Yes, it is. It looks really nice. Thank you. How much was it? I'd rather not say. Okay, so that's the conversation. So here is the picture. Yeah, so... Is this your bike? Yes, it is. And then it continues down here. And here with some more practice. Okay, so I will write the conversation on the board so we can, we can talk about it, practice, do pronunciation practice. Okay, here we go. A. A says, is this your bike? Is this your bike? 
is this your bike question right and B says yes it is yes it is a says a says it looks really nice it looks really nice B says thank you thank you A says how much was it how much was it B says I'd rather not say I'd rather not say okay there we go that's the conversation so let's practice it shall we okay is this your bike is this your bike is this your bike is this your bike yes it is yes it is yes it is it looks really nice it looks really nice it looks really nice it looks really nice thank you thank you thank you okay um rita we will talk about the meaning okay okay great we will talk about it yes we will yeah harry um joe and sue are on tuesday <laughs> Not today. So Joe and Sue are not today. So these are just random people. Random people. We don't know who they are. They are just random people. Anyone. Anybody. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. How much was it? How much was it? How much was it? I'd rather not say. I'd rather not say I'd rather not say okay good good so that was pronunciation and we we kind of went slowly and quickly saying the sentences now let's um, talk about the meaning okay let's talk about the meaning of these sentences what do they mean is this your bike so asking a question and bike bicycle it's one thing so we say is right if there's two are these your bikes if there was two we would say are these your bikes but there's one so we say is this your bike and um this so it's close to the speaker and and the the person is emphasizing it so we use this putting some more uh you know some some emphasis meaning meaning uh attention right so bringing attention to it so this using this is this your bike and b says oh yes it is so again it equals bike that's the that's the pronoun and we use is because it's singular yes it is yes it is then A says, it looks really nice. It looks really nice. So again, so um, it's an expression. It looks really nice. So we use look because we're using our eyes, right? So the person is looking at the bike or bicycle. And so, oh, it looks really nice. If it's music, let's say you're listening to a CD. Oh, it sounds nice. Oh, that, that group, that musician sounds nice so we're using our ears to say um sounds right and if you're eating something like like a cupcake mm, this tastes really good this tastes really good so we're using our 
our mouth, so we use taste, right? This tastes really good. In this situation, the person's looking using their eyes, and so it looks really nice. And really means um, very, right? It looks very nice, or you can say it looks really nice. Uh, and then B says thank you, right? Because it's a compliment. So A is saying, oh, your, your bike looks really nice, your bicycle looks really nice. It's a compliment, so B says, thank you, right? Thank you for your compliment. Thank you for your compliment. It looks really nice. Thank you for your compliment. A, how much was it? How much was it? So it's in the past tense, was it? Because the person has it. So maybe last week, yesterday, they, they bought the bicycle, right? So. Um, but now, it's theirs, it's here, and so how much was it? How much money did you pay? A and then B says, I'd rather not say. So I'd rather not, meaning you prefer not to. So for example, okay, Rita asked me, um, what does this mean? I'd rather not say. Okay, say, again, um, say like speak, right? I'd rather not tell you. So here we could say, I'd rather not tell you. I'd rather not speak about it. I'd rather not say. So I don't want to tell you the, the cost. I don't want to tell you how much money I paid. So I'd rather not, I'd prefer not to. I, if, uh, you know, it's kind of a, a, a a gentle way, it's a, it's a polite way to say no. <laughs> I'd rather not. So, so how much was it? I, I don't want to tell you. So that's a little strong. So it, it's, it's more polite to say I'd rather not say. So another example, let's go to the park. I'd rather not. Let's Let's have pizza for lunch. I'd rather not. Let's, let's go to the beach. I'd rather not. Let's go to the mountains. I'd rather not go to the mountains. Let's go to the desert. I'd rather not go to the desert. Let's watch TV. I'd rather not watch TV. So, so it's a it's a, a, a polite way to say no, okay? Okay, let's... Okay, I'm looking at the chat now. I'm looking at your chat. Tetsuro, uh, I don't want to say. Yes, Tetsuro, I don't want to say. Lolly, I'd rather not say. Maybe it was not a bargain and he wants to forget it. Okay, yeah, that... That's good, Lolly. Rita, I prefer not talking about prices. Perfect. Okay. Uh, okay, Tetsuro, I don't prefer. So I prefer not to. I, I prefer not to. So I'd rather not. I prefer not to. I prefer not to. Okay, I'd rather not. I prefer not to. I prefer not to. Or I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay? So this is polite. Okay, polite. I'd rather not. And then, and then here are say, so that means tell you. Talk about it. Talk. I'd rather not say the price. Tell you the price. Tell you the price. Okay. So, I'd rather not. That's polite to say. So, I'd rather not tell you the price. I'd rather not tell you the price. Okay? Okay, good, 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 good. 
Okay, Raphael. Okay, take it easy, buddy. Rita, thanks for the explanation. Okay, good, good, Rita. All right, all right. Happy to hear that. Okay, now let's. Um, so we talked about the meaning. We practiced pronunciation. We went close. We went slowly and quickly. So let's role play, shall we? Let's see, Williams. I would prefer not to mention it. Okay, that works. That works, Raphael. Or I mean, Williams. That that is means the same thing. Okay, good, good. All right, so let's role play now. So I will be A and you're B. A, B. So I'm going to say A. A, A, A. You will say B. B, B, B. Okay, so you say, yes, it is. Thank you. I'd rather not say. That's what you say. And then I'm going to say, is this your bike? It looks really nice. How much was it? Okay, so we're going to role play. So I'm going to be A and you're going to be B. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Is this your bike? It looks really nice. How much was it? Ah, okay. Okay, I understand. Sorry to be rude. So it might be a little rude. How much was it? Right? Talking about money could be rude, right? So I'm going to write that here. I'm going to put a um, asterisk. So here. Okay, so we're, we're matching here. Okay. And um, so how much was it? So talking about money can be rude. Talking about money can be rude, okay? So it's probably best not to ask about price, right? How much was your car? How much was your house? How much money do you make, right? It, it, it's not polite, it's rude in most cases, right? If, if it's like a good friend, you know, maybe you have friends, you can talk about money, and um, some friends you don't talk about money. So it depends on your, your, your relationship with your friends or family. So some people talk about money, some people don't mind, some people do mind to talk about money. So it's all kind of case by case. Okay, let's do it again. All right, we always do it in threes. So we did it once, so let's um, do it again. I'm A, you are B. Here we go, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Is this your bike? It looks really nice. How much was it? Ah, okay, sorry. I'm sorry for asking. <laughs> okay, good. Let's do it the third time. Count down, five, four, three, two, one. Is this your bike? It looks really nice. How much was it? Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be rude. <laughs> okay, good. Let's switch now. You are A, I'm B. A, B, A, B. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yes, it is. Thank you. I'd rather not say. Please don't ask about the price. Please don't ask about the price. Okay, let's do it again. You are A, I am B. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yes, it is. Thank you. I'd rather not say. <laughs> I'd rather not say. Okay, here we go. Three's the charm. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yes, it is. Thank you. I'd rather not say. <laughs> I'd rather not say. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, okay. Good question, Harry. Good question. So, 
This is a bicycle. Yes, is so we have you there's bicycles and motorcycles. Bicycles and motorcycles. And either one we have a nickname. You can call a bicycle a bike. That's a nickname. And you can call a motorcycle a bike. That's also a nickname. So so you can you you it doesn't matter. You can call a bicycle a bike. You can call a motorcycle a bike. Okay? You can do it with either one. You can call either one a bike. Yes, Sylvia. To ask about the price is not polite. That is correct. <laughs> Take the big eye off the bike so the so the tire doesn't puncture. <laughs> okay, good Rita. Okay, well, let's go to our next activity, shall we? Okay, so we did it, yeah? Okay, good, 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 good. All right, well, let's go ahead and do our worksheet, okay? Our worksheet will be, well, the idiom. So number four, let's go to activity number four. I'm going to put four right here, okay? Number four is here. It's a little kind of, we got one, two, three, and we're going to put four here. So it's a little off, I guess, yeah? So here we go, four. And it's um, fall down. Okay, it's an idiom. Okay, fall down, and there is a worksheet. So I'm going to um, put it right on the board. Again, you can get the worksheet on my YouTube homepage, the community tab. Go to the community tab, and you will see this worksheet there. Oh, Jocko, I'd rather not go out tonight. Very good. That's a good sentence, Jocko. Nice job. Okay, let's look at the worksheet. There it is. And this was done by the green team, everyone. The green team did it. These are their sample sentences. These are their examples for the idiom, fall down. Okay, you can see the green team right there, the, the green button. And I'm going to put it right here. It's the green team. So I put the button right there, and green team. So there's the green team there their emoji. Okay. So fall down means to drop to the ground. Oh, the boy fell down. So fall down to drop to the ground. To drop to the ground. And we have Sonara, Best Gamer, Tomas, Marion, Lolly, Air Lady, Fabricio, Rita, Julia, and Ava. So these are their Sentences, so let's look at their examples. Sonara, after the storm, lots of fruit fell down from the trees. One more time. After the storm, lots of fruit fell down from the trees. Best gamer, when I play football, I fall down on the grass. When I play football, I fall down on the grass. Tomas, yesterday I was absolutely exhausted, so I simply fall, or should be fell down on the sofa. Uh-oh, that should be past tense because that was yesterday. I will have to fix this, sorry. I need to fix that sentence. One more time. Yesterday I was absolutely exhausted, so I simply fell down on the sofa. So. So fall down is present and fell down is past. Yeah, so fell, fell down, that's past tense. Okay, so yesterday I fell down. So that would be yesterday. So that, that's yesterday I fell down. Yesterday, I fell down. So that was past. So 
that should be fell down. Fell down on the sofa. Yesterday I was absolutely exhausted, so I simply fell down on the sofa. Marion, I fell down and hurt my knee. Oh, ouch. I fell down and hurt my knee. Lolly, yesterday I fell down the stairs, but luckily I didn't hurt myself. Wow, that's scary. Yesterday I fell down the stairs, but luckily I didn't hurt myself. That's, that's good, good news. Air Lady, the house looked as if it were going to fall down at any moment. The house looked as if it were going to fall down at any moment. Oh boy, oh boy. So the house was rickety. The house was old. The house was falling down. Fabricio, it's not how we fall down, but how we get up, that's important. Good. It's not how we fall down, but how we get up, that's important. So that's kind of like, um, you know, the, the, the expression, um, if you fall off the horse, get back or get back on the horse, right? If you fall down, get back up on the horse, right? So that means like if you fail, right? If you don't do well, try again, you know, get back on the horse, keep, don't give up, right? Don't give up, keep trying. And so Fabricio's sentence, it's not, it's not how we fall down. It's not about making a mistake. It's about how you fix your mistake, right? So we always say, you know, if you make a mistake, that's fine. That's how we learn. The important thing is for you to fix your mistake, right? So when, when you're writing your sentences, hey, that's how we learn making mistakes. Everyone does it. So that's not the problem or that's right. Th that's not a problem. Making a mistake is not a problem. That's natural. But the most important thing is for you to fix your mistake, right? So that's what Fabricio is saying here. That is what Fabricio is saying. Um, it's not how we fall down. It's not how we make a mistake, but how we fix our mistake. That's important. So that's what it's all about. Improving, fixing your mistake. Hey, Nur is here. Hello, Nur. How you doing? Okay, read a sentence. Everyone laughed a lot when I fell down at the party, and so did I. <laughs> Everyone laughed a lot when I fell down at the party, and so did I. Oh no, so Rita, at the party she fell down, everyone was laughing, oh look at Rita, she fell down. And Rita was laughing too. So, oh, I can't believe I fell down, ho 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 ho, I can't believe it. So that's good. I hope, Rita, you're okay. I hope you're okay. Okay, and Julia says, if they don't demolish this old building, it will fall down. If they don't demolish, demolish means to take down, right? So demolish is destroy, right? So they got to demolish that old building. They got to take it down. They got to take the old building down. If they don't demolish this old building, it will fall down. So demolish, so there'd be like, you know, construction work. So, you know, big, you know, bulldozers and stuff will bring it down. And then it, that's the safe way to do it. That's the safe way to do it because professional people are taking down the old building, right? And there's nobody inside. But if it just falls down by itself, it can hurt people, right? Because if people are inside, or walking close by, if it falls down, it's going to hurt many people. But if they demolish it, that's the safe way to do it because nobody is there, only uh, the construction company, only the professional people are there. So it's the safe way to do it. So it's much safer to demolish an old building than if it just fell down by itself, right? Then a lot of people will get hurt. And then 
Eva says, my mom fell down a few days ago, and now she is in a nursing home. Oh, that's too bad. One more time. My mom fell down a few days ago, and now she is in a nursing home. So, Eva, I hope your mother is doing fine. I hope she's okay. That's bad news. Um, Harry says, it is not nice to laugh at someone falling down. Yeah, that's true. Yes. But if Rita is also laughing, you know, it depends on the situation, Harry. So it all depends on the situation. In most cases, you are correct. But sometimes maybe, you know, there's exceptions, right? There's exceptions. Okay, Amna, thank you. Okay, now everyone, it's your turn to write sentences, okay? So in the chat, please write your own sentences using fall down, okay? So please use fall down and make your own sentence. Okay, Harry says, what is a nursing home? That is a place where older people go when they cannot live at their own home. They need nursing care because they're very old or there's health reasons. And so they need, like they call like assisted living, maybe assisted living. So they need help from like nurses and doctors. And, and it's, a, it's a place where older people go who need special help. Oh, what books do you recommend? Llama. <laughs> These right here. This is book one, book two, book three. And these are, um, which one is different? These. Okay. Let's, let's see your sentences. You're welcome, Lama. In Amazon.com, Amazon, Amazon. The link is below in the descriptions. Okay, Umesh, don't laugh when someone falls down. Okay, let's see your sentences, please. There's examples right there, everyone. Please write your own sentence. Umesh. I fell down from a horse and broke my leg. Ouch. Okay. Ava says, my mom feels better. Good, good, Ava. Happy to hear. Okay. Um, so, Imasio. Imasio says, I fell down yesterday and hurt my knee on the ground. Oh, I hope you're feeling better. Kayleen, the problem is not the fall down, but what is learned. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, the problem is not falling down, but what is learned from it. Kayleen, one more time. The problem is not falling down, but what is learned from it. What is learned from it? Okay, Gada. Last month, my son fell down from the sofa and I was scared. Scared, Gada. Last month, my son fell down from the sofa and I was Scared. Uh oh. Yeah, it's scary when your children fall down. Tetsuro, he fell down and lost his wallet. Oh boy. Umesh, don't fall down in life. Be successful. Good, Umesh. Ava, I fell down a few days ago when I took a bus, but I was okay when I took a bus. Okay, Kadeen. Fixed her sentence, maybe? The problem is not falling down, but what is learned from it. Good. So, so um, Kadeen, falling down. So, I-N-G. Okay, falling down. I-N-G. 
Lolly, babies often fall down when they learn to walk. Suma, a tree fell down on the road due to heavy rain and storm. Okay, Nur, I fell down la or yesterday. Nur, I fell down yesterday. So, Nur, this is for you, okay, Nur? I fell. I fell down yesterday. Okay, Nur, I fell down yesterday. Air lady, I fell down and got a big bruise. Oh no, air lady, oh no. Okay, Emilio, senior citizens must avoid falling down because they can require complicated surgery and use a wheelchair the rest of, yes, Emilio. That's right. The older we get, our bones get weak. That's the problem. Our bones get weak as we get older. Oh, Harry, watch your step so you won't fall down and get hurt. Good, Harry. God, that last month my son fell down from the sofa and I was scared. Good, 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 God. All right, good, Katie. The problem is not falling down, but what is learned from it? Nice. Llama. <laughs> Llama. Mwah, Lama ordered the three books just now. Lama, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're green and you, you got the books. Thank you so much, Lama. You will like it. You will like them. You will like the books. Thank you. Tetsuro, I fell down and got up and walked on again. Okay, Tetsuro, I fell down, then I got up and walked on again. So we gotta put these kind of in past tense. Okay, so Tetsuro, um, I, I fell down, fell down and got up and walked on. Okay, so I fell down and got up and walked on. Okay, Samuel, I got an accident. I I I got in an accident two years ago, but. Okay, okay, so, okay, Samuel. I had a motorcycle accident. Okay, wait, I fell down on, I, I, I fell on my motorcycle and hurt my leg. I fell, okay, I fell, I fell, I fell down on my motorcycle and hurt my leg. I fell down on my motorcycle and hurt my leg. I fell down on my motorcycle and hurt my leg. Lama, thank you. Thank you so much. Too much. I fell down the stairs and injured my head. Oh boy. Kayleen, I fell down while I was washing the bathroom. Tessa, I fell down and got up and walked on. Good, good. Good news. Oh, Umesh, some, somebody fell down a great height. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. Okay, Saima, my sister fell down on her bicycle? What kind of cycle? Motorcycle, bicycle, what kind of cycle? Lolly, my little brother often falls down when he was younger, or fell down. Okay, wait, wait, hold on, Lolly. Sorry, sorry. My little brother often fell down when he was young. Okay, that's a good sentence. Perfect. That is a good sentence. 
Yep, kids fall down, but they're short. They have short legs, so they don't fall far, do they? So little kids, when they fall down, they don't fall much of a distance. The, the bigger we get, the taller we get, when we fall, the harder it is. Uh, of course, not recently I haven't. Oh, Harry, thank you. I remember there's a, there's a poll. Oh boy, your, your question reminded me of the poll. I always forget about the poll. Let's look in the blue box on top of the chat, the poll. Let's check it out. 98 people voted. Thank you so much, everyone. Mwah. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay, so this is, Harry asked me, um, have you ever fallen down? And so um, that is exactly what the poll is about. So let's look at the blue box in the chat, above in the chat. So I want you to finish the sentence. I want you to finish the sentence. So it says, I fell down, and then you have to finish in cho four choices. I fell down today. I fell down recently, so these days, right? I fell down recently. I fell down this year. I don't remember when I fell down. So I don't remember the last time I fell down, right? I don't remember the last time I fell down. And the number one choice or the most the, the the most popular the most often today i fell down today oh boy 38 percent of the people said they fell down today oh boy number two the second most popular i don't remember so i don't remember when i fell down so i don't remember the last time i fell down i don't remember 30%, then at 22% recently, so these days, recently, um, maybe last week, you know, maybe this week. So number three was, I fell down recently. I fell down recently. And then the last choice, 9%, I fell down this year. I fell down this year. So in 2022, 9% um, of you said I fell down this year in 2022. <laughs> okay, but I'm really surprised today. Today we had, that's the most popular. So, um, wow. So 39% of the people said they fell down Today, oh boy. Yeah, Uma says, a lot of people on, on the train, definitely someone will fall down to the ground. Oh boy. Oh, Lolly, her sentence, I fall down only when I am drunk. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, you see people who drink too much, they lose their balance, right? So I'm standing, I have good balance, right? I, I can stand. But uh, when people drink too much, they lose their balance and they can fall down, right? So be careful, everyone. Don't drink too much. Don't get drunk. Don't fall down. Don't hurt yourself. Okay, good, good. All right, I like, I like all your your sentences, of course. You guys always have great sentences. Oh, okay, Rita, I didn't see your sentence, sorry. Let me, I have to find Rita. Oh, where's Rita's sentence? I think I read it, Rita. Yeah, like take the Wait, is that the one? Let's see. Rita. On, on the paper, I read your, okay, I'll do it again, Rita. I'm pretty sure I read it. We talked about it. So, okay, Rita, let's look at your sentence once again. 
we, I read it, Rita, and, and people were saying, oh, don't laugh when someone falls down. So Rita says, everyone laughed a lot when I fell down at the party, and so did I. So, so people are saying, Rita, oh, don't, don't, don't laugh when someone falls down. But I said, oh, maybe, you know, Rita, you are also laughing. And maybe the situation, you know, it, it wasn't, everyone's kind of like you're telling a joke. I don't know, but um, it depends on the situation, right, Rita? So um, if you're doing some kind of performance, maybe you're at a party and you're, like doing a skit, a, a performance, and you fell down, and it was funny, <laughs> and you were laughing, everyone was laughing. So we have to be there, right? So um, kind of like case by case, you know, depends on the situation. Okay, let's move on to our fifth activity. Let's go to number five, everyone. Here we go. Number five, activity number five. And that is a, we're going to watch a video. So where can I, where do I have space for number five? Where do I have space? Let's see. Right, right there, huh? Right here. I'm going to go here. We're going to go five here. And 10 very short conversations. Okay, let's, let's look at a video, okay? We're gonna, first, we're going to say the conversation, like we did here, right? So in the video, we're gonna say the conversations, and then the second part, we're gonna role play like we did here. I will be A, you will be B, right? So we'll do that, then we will switch. So like we did here, we're gonna do it in the video, okay? So let's go ahead and do it, shall we? Okay, let's have a look at the video. There it is, right there. Okay, here we go. Full screen. Full screen. Let's go. Full screen. There we go. That's just about full screen, I think. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? Okay, this is set 25. Okay, let's say the sentence, each sentence three times. May I come in? May I come in? May I come in? Of course, please come in. <laughs> of course, please come in. Of course, please come in. May I come in? Of course, please come in. How does this look? How does this look? How does this look? It looks nice on you. It looks nice on you. It looks nice on you. How does this look? It looks nice on you. Please step forward. Please step forward. Please step forward. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please step forward. Yes, sir. I missed the bus. I missed the bus. I missed the bus. Whoops. That's too bad. That's too bad. That's too bad. I missed the bus. That's too bad. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. There's a drinking fountain. There's a drinking fountain. There's a drinking fountain. I'm thirsty. 
there's a drinking fountain. Do you use condiments? Do you use condiments? Do you use condiments? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you use condiments? Yes, I do. Neva, hello, Neva, hello, hello. Okay, do you use condiments? Yes, I do. All right. This sandwich is delicious. This sandwich is delicious. This sandwich is delicious. Good morning, Neva. Need a paper towel? Need a paper towel? Need a paper towel? This sandwich is delicious. Need a paper towel? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. How's it going? Not bad. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Whoops, whoops, whoops. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Are you ready? I'm coming. How much longer? How much longer? How much longer? Any time now. Any time now. Any time now. How much longer? Any time now. Okay, we're going to roll the video. And then we'll talk about the meaning, okay? So let's, let's go ahead and um, do this. Okay, it's your turn. Okay, I will go first. I will be the purple sentences. And you will go second. You will be the blue sentences, okay? So I'm blue. I mean, I'm purple. You are blue. May I come in? How does this look? Please step forward. I missed the bus. I'm thirsty. Do you use condiments? This sandwich is delicious. How's it going? Are you ready? How much longer? Okay, let's switch. You will go first. You will be the purple sentences. And I will go second. I will be the blue sentences.
Of course, please come in. It looks nice on you. Yes, sir. That's too bad. There's a drinking fountain. Yes, I do. Need a paper towel? Not bad. I'm coming. Any time now. Okay, let's um, let's talk about the meaning a little bit here. Okay, so um, okay, may I come in? That's polite, right? Saying, oh, you could say, oh, is it okay if I come in? May I come in? Could I come in? Would you mind if I come in? And then, um, of course, like of course, please come in. So certainly, yes, certainly, you know, please. Please come in. Yes, of course. Uh, how does this look? And then she says, oh, it looks nice on you. So she's asking, how does this look? So she's asking for um, com confirmation or she's looking for advice. She's asking, oh, what do you think about the dress? And then she says, oh, it looks nice on you. So, that, so it, it fits your body. It looks good on you, right? So that's a good choice. And then um, the security man says, please step forward. Come walk through the metal detector, right? You see these at airports. So please step forward, take an x-ray, see if you have any, you know, dangerous things, right? Like guns or knives. And then the man says, oh, yes, sir. Like, so he's being, uh, you know, he's being polite. He's being respectful. Yes, sir. I'll do exactly what you say. And then um, she says, oh, I missed the bus. I missed the bus. So I was late for the bus. So I'm late. The bus has already come and gone, come and gone. And then the other person says, oh, that's too bad. Bad news. That's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. You know, that's terrible. You missed your bus. Now maybe you will be late for work, right? That's not good. Uh, I'm thirsty. There's a drinking fountain right there. Can you see it over there? There's a drinking fountain and you can have some water and that will help you. Right? You will not be thirsty after you drink water. Okay, do you use condiments? Now, condiments, they, they go like on a sandwich or, you know, they're kind of flavor. You have soy sauce. So if you want, you know, more flavor for your, you know, Chinese food or your Japanese food, you might add soy sauce for more flavor. Same with sugar, if you want something, if you want your 
coffee or tea to be sweeter, you add sugar. Uh, maybe some people like the taste of mayonnaise on their sandwich or pickles on your hamburger. I like mustard, that's my favorite condiment. Yeah, could you, could, okay, Harry says, okay, back here, this one, right, Harry? Could I say he is being cooperate, cooperate, cooperative for the man in the air? Yeah, so if you're going to the airport, you want to be a cooperative because they can, like, they can make you late for your airplane. You know, they have like a lot of power at the airport. So just be cooperative, say yes, sir. Do what they tell you because just get through the security, right? Just get through. You want to make your, your plane. So you do what the security people say. The security guard says, you know, step forward. Yes, sir. Uh, open your bags. Yes, sir. Um, like take out, you know, the keys in your pocket. Yes, sir. So be co cooperative because you want to get through the airport. You want to get through, you want to get on your airplane on time, right? You don't want to miss, here, this woman missed her bus. You don't want to miss your airplane, do you? No, that's not good. Don't miss your, don't be late for your flight. Okay, condiments. Okay, here we go. That sandwich is delicious. Do you need paper towels, right? Paper towels. Right, in case you know you need to um, clean your hands, clean your face. Maybe the sandwich is messy, could be a little messy. Okay, how's it going? How are you? How is everything? Not bad, right? Not good, not bad. You know, think it's normal. Not, not bad, everything is normal. Okay, are you ready? I'm coming, right? So let's go. Are you ready? Do you have your socks on? Do you have your wallet? Do you have your keys? Yes, I'm coming. I'm coming right now. Don't, don't worry, I'm coming. Okay, how much longer? Anytime now. So the woman is very pregnant, right? There's a big baby in her stomach. So, um, she asked the nurse, how much longer? When will the baby come out? <laughs> when will the baby be born, right? When, when is this going to happen? And then the nurse says, anytime now. So you could have the baby tonight. You could have the baby anytime. It could be, it could be in an hour. It could be tonight. It could be tomorrow, anytime. So... She, the woman, she wants to be finished. <laughs> she doesn't want the baby in her stomach. She wants the baby out. She's ready. <laughs> okay, great. That is it. Yep, that was it. Okay, great job, everyone. Let's, let's close it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you, 10 very short conversations. Okay, good job. Well, you did it, everyone. One, two, three. Where's four? Where's four? Four, five, yes, five activities. Woo, good job, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I will be back tomorrow, okay, 3 p.m. So actually, the next six Saturdays, 3 p.m. So tomorrow, Saturday, here we go, Saturday, June 4th, 3 p.m., Japan time. Okay, that's the next live stream tomorrow at 3 p.m. because I have class in the morning so at my university. So I can't be here. So 
I will be here at 3 p.m., okay? So I hope you'll be okay. I hope this works for you. But I will be here tomorrow, 3 p.m. Japan time. So that's, that's June 4th, 3 p.m., okay, Japan time. So I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Lolly, thank you. Lolly says, join the green team, yes. Join the friendly green team. We are very friendly here. <laughs> so I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, I always take a picture of the whiteboard so you could check it out anytime you want to. Let me do that. Hold on. Here is my phone and I'm gonna open the camera right there. No, that's not the camera, that's the time. Okay, there's the camera. I'm gonna take a picture of the whiteboard, right? We have a conversation here. We have the, the, the pattern, the sentence, form a sentence here. We got some information here. <laughs> so let's take a picture so you can check it out anytime you want to. Right now you can't see me, but you can hear me because I'm behind the camera. And I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. Here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture. And I will upload it later today on my Facebook group page. Mark Kulik, English Speaking Practice, so you can check it out anytime you want to. All the whiteboards are there on my Facebook group page. It's in the link below. So if you want to um, go to my Facebook group page, the link is below. Okay, thank you again, everyone, for your kind, kind support. Air Lady, thank you. Mwah. Everyone, today is Friday here in Japan. Have a great weekend. I hope to see you tomorrow. And um, be safe. Um, smile, right? Because when you smile, you're happy. And then you make other people happy, right? When they see you smile, they will smile. Peace and love. Thank you, Air Lady. So, everyone, peace and love. Thank you so much. Neva, greetings to Nepal. Yes. So, um, everyone, take it easy. Have a good weekend. I hope to see you tomorrow. Lama, thank you for getting the books. That's a thank you so much. Mwah. All right. Well, um, let's say goodbye together. Gada, you're very welcome. Harry, you're very welcome. So um, let's say goodbye together, shall we? Peace and love. Smile. Stay healthy. Um, and let's be like a monk. Let's cook clean and pray for world peace, shall we? Okay, let's say goodbye together. Let's count down. Are you ready? Here we go. And one more time. Thank you, everyone. I will be back here tomorrow, Saturday, 3 p.m. Japan time. Okay, so here we go. Let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. One. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Mwah. Have a great weekend. Peace and love. I hope to see you tomorrow. Until tomorrow. Bye.